hey guys what's up alec back with another stock market investing video and today we have the most favorite video on the channel so you better get excited it's going to be sunday's stock talk with about 15 different stocks that we're going to be talking about my thoughts on them and the best price points to get into these stocks now i want to thank you guys for the overwhelming su support on my instagram page we're at thirty-one thousand followers now and we get almost three thousand views per story this was only posted 16 hours ago and we're at 3200 views so thank you so much for that guys and i want to let you know that i did close signups for a little bit so if you're not on my instagram and you came from youtube i actually have closed it but i opened up the wait list so if you guys are interested in getting a little bit more help Here's some stuff that is included with the program if you want to pause the video and read through it a little bit. And also check this out too, the client success portal. It's the highlight on my, my actual Instagram and you just click on it and go through and you can actually see hundreds of clients that have actually had success so far with that. So I want to let you guys know I did start the wait list. So if you do want to get on that, it is a one-time payment to get on that and you get lifetime access right now too. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first stock that we're gonna be talking about today, and I think it's a buy right about now at the price point it's currently sitting at, is ticker symbol BABA, -A, Alibaba, sitting at $221.95. It's down about 13% today, well on Friday, and it's down 12% in the week and 20% in the past month. So this might be one that you do want to take advantage of. They are an amazing company. If you can see, I just started buying. I put $200 in total at an average cost of $221. Their PE ratio is 31, which is actually really good for a, a company with a market cap of 600 billion. Their 52 week high is 319, which it's definitely possible for them to go up to all time highs and beat 320. I think in the next one to two years, they can easily pass that 52 week high and their 52 week low is 169, which means that we're creeping up slowly on that 52 week high. So I would say the price point to buy them is current price 221. But obviously, if you can get in at 210 or even 200, I think it's a good possibility that the stock can get that low. So in the past year, it looks like a popular support has been around 215. So if it goes below 215, there's a good chance it can go as low as 180. And I'll definitely be picking up a lot of shares of Alibaba right around 180. And what you'll see here too at Alibaba, if you don't know why they're actually going down recently, suffers record fall after antitrust probe in China. Stock slides into bear market territory while Ray James analyst says it still remains a buy, which I completely agree with also if you are going to be buying for long term. Shares of Alibaba suffered a historical sell-off Thursday to the lowest close in nearly six months after Chinese regulators launch an antitrust investigation into this e-commerce giant. A focus of investigations was Alibaba's policy of choose one of two, which requires Alibaba. And this is a great one to read more about it and read the full article on this one as well. If you ever want to read a full article I post on my story on Instagram or any, any article ever, you just type in the headline. So just go ahead and copy, paste, or just type it in word for word and the full article will pop right up on Google. You just have to type in the headline and always read the full article, not just the headlines too. So whenever I put something on my story, like a headline or an article, it's typically because I want you guys to read the full article and not just the headline. All right, so the second stock on the list is gonna be Hillian, ticker symbol H-Y-L-N, down about 6% on the day on Friday. And if you look, it was actually up about 10% on the week until it just went down on friday or actually it was thursday because friday we had the markets closed for christmas day but if you go to the one month chart that's when it actually starts getting very interesting because it's down about 29 percent in the last one month which is a good indicator to buy it's down 66 percent in the last three months so this is a great one to be on the list because it can easily double up very, very easily. The stock was just at $53 and it's a great stock overall. You'll actually see I've been buying at $17.30. 
I have a $200 position so far, and I'm hoping to expand them more if they go down to about $1,650 or even $15. I'll keep expanding this position because I do like their business model. And, and if you do have a mindset of two, three years, I think that this can be a great two times, three times investment on my money. So that's why I'm investing personally into this stock. Their market cap is only 500 million right now, which is very small. So it's very possible for this company to get to a $2 billion market cap in the next few years. So this is definitely one you wanna have on your list. Right around 1650, I would recommend buying it. And it's a newer company to the stock market too. You'll actually see they just IPO'd, what was it, right around April or May, and they plateaued for a long time. And then they started catching some steam in late June, early July. And then all of a sudden they took absolute lift off September 1st. So all the way to September 1st through September 30th is when they were on top of the world. And then October came, October 30th, they hit the bottom and then they kept going lower. So I think this, this one is a great reversal. And I think it'll hover right around $20 a share. You can see that's one of its hard supports. It's right around $20 a share for a while. And one of the resistance looked right around $30 as, as well. So if it can break out of $20 and $30, then I think it can go as, as high as about $40 to $50 over the next few years too. So the next stock we have to talk about is going to be Tattooed Chef, ticker symbol TTCF. This stock's everywhere right now. A lot of people are talking about it. It's up 58% in the last one month, which is, which is absolutely a huge gainer for just one month. Now for the three-month chart, it's about even because it did fall down to $14 a share. And that's kind of when I was picking some up at $18.50. I only picked up about $200 worth or $150 worth or so. And I never got to actually build this position fully out as big as I wanted to. Because um, as soon as it goes down, I'll buy more. And my secret goal with any position that I'm in is always to get my average cost as low as possible. Especially in a company that I believe in, like Tattoo Chef, for example. I want my average cost to be below $18.50. Now that might be a little bit hard because we see Tattoo Chef catching some steam right now, but it's not totally impossible for the stock to go down to $18 again, or even $20. So that's where exactly where I'm going to be putting my price point is right at the $20 mark for Tattoo Chef. And you can actually see they IPO'd about two years ago or so. And I would like to get in this stock right around $20. They're a lot like Beyond Me, but they're pretty small. So if you look at their market cap, they're only a $600 million company too. So I think that this company could easily be a two, three, four billion dollar market cap in the next few years. So I probably will even be buying some shares at like 23, 25. I just think personally that it can go down to like 19 or $20. So I'm gonna be saving most of my buying and most of my spending for Tattoo Chef right around $20 a share. All right, the next stock we have to talk about on this Sunday stock talk is gonna be Fastly, ticker symbol FSLY. And as you can see, 15% up in the last month, it's making some great upward movement and it's showing some great upward conf um, confirmation too. Now, as you can see, this stock's like a roller coaster. It goes high, low, high, low, high, low. So it just has some very inconsistent movements and then look at this huge drop in this two in this couple day span. Well, it actually, it was like two weeks. But look at that, down 49% in that two week span. So anything can definitely happen with this stock. And in this two week span, or closer to about a month span, or two month span, it's up 58% too. So it's definitely one you want to have on your radar because it is a great swing trade. It goes up and down. I would want to swing trade this one right around $80 and I would want to cash out right around $100. So I would want to be buying this stock right around 80, 82, 78, 75, somewhere in that ballpark. We've even seen it as low as 63, which I doubt it'll probably get that low again, but 75 is not totally out of the question. Um, and then I'd want to swing trade it up to $100 because it's been past $100. Look how many times, one, two, 95 three four times five times 
So it's been above $100 consistently. It's been below $80 consistently. So I think those are safe price points to actually go ahead and swing trade this Fastly stock too. All right, so let's talk about this Disney stock. Everyone's asking about it. Nobody thought it would ever get this high. It's at $173. Oh my God. We have it at 16% in the last one month. 38% gain in the last three months, which is actually unbelievable for Disney. And uh, only 18% in the past year because remember, they did go down about 40% when everything shut down. They're at an all time high right now. Before that, it was 150 was the all time high. Now they're at 170. I had some of this stock. I've actually sold some out. They also have a dividend yield of 0.5, which obviously it's not big but it's better than nothing. So I like companies that are paying out dividend. I think Apple's paying out a small dividend too. So, you know, 0.5 is better than zero, especially if you have a lot of money, like $100,000 in the stock or something like that, which some people absolutely do. And also it can be growing. So the dividend yield can be 1% in the next few years too. And remember, whenever it says dividend yield, that's for the annual, what they pay out annually anytime they're talking about a dividend yield yield just think of yield as annual so dividend annual don't even say yield it just means annual so the market cap is going to be 314 billion and for this stock to be getting back to 150 is a hundred percent realistic do not think that it will not go that low again because disney stock will absolutely go to 150 in my opinion I think it'll probably even go to like 130 or 140 in the long term if you're patient enough. And that's probably where I'm going to be buying some shares is like 130 because I'm pretty patient when it comes to buying, especially on Disney stock. I don't feel a rush or a need to get into that anytime soon because they're at an absolute all time high. Look in like the last few months, they're up 82%, which is huge for Disney stock. They've never made an upward movement like that. And obviously their subscription-based service, Disney Plus, is one to really think. Their parks are closed for the most part right now, and that's where they usually make a lot of their money too. All right, next up on the list is going to be Intel, up about 1%, 2% in the last week, down 0.6% in the last month. So they haven't really been trading. You know, they've been, if you bought up here at 51, and yeah, they are probably down for you. But they're about flush, you know, only 1% in the week, 0.6% in the month, 6% down in the last three months, down 21% in the last year. And if you look at the five-year chart, they're up about 37%. Now, this is one that I really like to swing trade a lot. It's one of my actual favorite ones to go back and swing trade all the time. And this is probably one of the ones I frequently swing trade the most too. And it's because it's so predictable if you look at their supports and resistance, it typically always, it never goes past the $46, $44 support. Um, this time, I think it was like the lowest was at $44.04. .04. So it never really goes back below that $44 support. And right now it's at 45, 47, excuse me. I have some around $48 a share and I would probably be liking to expand my position right around 46 or 45. So I would say Intel's a buy right around 45 or 46, and you can hold that puppy all the way to 55, 60. I think 55 is a little bit more share, uh, more safe for an exit position. So I'd probably wait till about 55 to exit. That's what I would personally do. I have about $600 into them right now, and they will be getting to $55. I might even hold this one to 60 or 65 because I think Intel can make massive movements up. They've been just getting beat down lately. They did lose some of their positions with Microsoft and Apple. So next year probably isn't looking too good for them either. So I'd probably honestly like to just sell out of this stock ASAP. I'm at $48 on my average cost and I would like to sell around $55 a share on this one. Also, if you are interested in Intel, I would recommend reading this article here too. They actually bought back Intel stake too. So if you want to read more about Intel or if you have a position in them, I would definitely recommend reading that article here. Next up, we have Facebook, one of my personal long-term holds, one of my favorite ones. 
And they're uh, down 3% in the month, they're up 3% in three months, and they're up 27% in the last year. So this is a stock that hasn't had a huge growth spurt in the last year like a lot of the other stocks have had. You see it's been trading pretty much sideways ever since June. It was only at 238 and now it's at 267. So it hasn't had much of a gain in the last year. In the last five years, it's only up 154%. So this is one that I can see two times in going up to $500, $600 a share in the next few years too if you want to hold it. This is definitely a long-term hold. This is not a swing trade. And it's Facebook stock. I mean, you guys all know them and love them. We have about $3,000 at market value. It says it's portfolio diversity 21%, but it's probably closer to about 8 or 5%. Because remember, I have a bunch of different profiles with just as much money on them. This is probably, this Robinhood account probably is a third of my entire portfolio. It only has $20,000 in it, and I have about fifty dollars to $60,000 in the market. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of all my different stock positions and stock holdings and different brokerages I'm in, like Webull, Fidelity, Vanguard, Robinhood, comment below that you want to see that video. I haven't got around to making that video yet. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. But I'm up about 32% on my Facebook holding. We were up a lot more when the obviously the stock was closer to $300 a share, which I think is totally realistic for it to get back to that time again. And that's going to be about a 15% gain, even if you buy in it right now and it goes up to 300. So I would say Facebook is a really safe bet anywhere at 265 for the long term. So I'll be buying more around 265. 260 would be obviously better and 250 i think it possibly can get down to 250 again because we see some of these antitrust lawsuits going on with facebook and some bad short-term stuff that can drive the stock down in the short term so facebook definitely a great one to be getting in at 250 260 for the long term and holding that thing for a while too and then after that, we have Beyond Meat down about 2.5% on Thursday, down 3% in the last week, down 3%, wow, the same in the last week and the same month, and then 13% in the last three months. So remember, this stock was up to about $200 a share just on October, so it can easily rebound and I think go that high again. You see a very popular support for Beyond Meat is right around 125 or 126 so ideally that's where i would like to be buying them but for a long-term hold i'm going to be putting a price point of 130 dollars on them if you if they get as low as 130 i'm going to be sticking in a couple hundred dollars more i have them at 129 at about 369 dollars of market value so we're up five percent this is a great long-term hold and i'm probably going to be prepared to hold this one for three four even five years down the road this is definitely one of the longer term holds that you just want to buy and hold and fit, set it and forget it kind of like tattoo chef too this is a lot bigger of a company but tattoo chef see the market cap for beyond meat eight billion remember tattoo chef was like a half a billion so i think tattoo chef can get up there obviously it won't pass beyond meat but it can be a strong competitor to Beyond Meat too. So have this one on your watch list right around 130 and hold for the long term, at least two years hold on this Beyond Meat. And after that, we're going to have a great long term hold as well. JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM. And right now it's at 124. If you look at the one week chart, it's up 1%. The last month, it's up 2%. And the last three months is up 30%. So it has been making some great movements in the last three months. But in the last one month, it's pretty much done nothing. And it's still trying to recover from when everything got shut down. So this stock was consistently trading above $100 for a long time. For the last two years, you know, it was well above $100 and it was making its way to $140. Now, I have an average cost of $96, up 29%. But if you guys can be buying around $110 or $100 a share, I probably wouldn't pass up that opportunity, especially if you're a long-term trader and you want to just buy and hold some of the best stocks in the stock market for long-term. 
I think if this one gets about 100 or 110, that this can be one of the best stocks to actually hold for the next few years. It's very safe is what's good about it. Your money is pretty much guaranteed to go up a couple percentage points per year. I think around 10 to 20% per year is good for. And you also get a dividend yield of almost 3% on top of that, which is way better than having your money just sitting into a savings account. Just invest it into JP Morgan. I think it's way better. And it offers way more growth. This is the biggest stock bank banking company in the whole stock market. There isn't a bigger company in the stock market for banking other than JPM. And the market cap is $379 billion. They're backed by the government, so they're not going to be going anywhere for the next 100 years. I'm pretty sure JPM will still be around too. So they're one of those safe stocks that you can, again, hand down to your grandkids and just hold these forever. So the next one on the list is going to be Big C, Big Commerce. And I think this is a great one for a medium trade, medium to long term swing trade, up 5% in the week, down 10% in the month, down for 10% in the last three months. And you can see they IPO'd on August, so almost six months ago now. So they're starting to stabilize a little bit more. And look, this is why I don't buy IPOs for a while. Because you see the IPO, they shoot up to 93 and everyone wants to buy, buy, buy. And then they go all the way down to 65, right? And then all of a sudden they go up, 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 139. And everyone wants to buy again and buy, buy, buy because they think they're going to the moon. And then they fall off a cliff all the way to $74. They go up again. So they're very inconsistent and not stabilized yet. And I want to put this one on the list because I think they do have a great future. They're a big company, market cap, but they also are pretty low right now at the low price point. So I wanted to put them on the list and I'll put them at 65. You know, if they go as low as 65, I probably wouldn't pass it up. You know, November 16th, right around Thanksgiving time, they did go pretty low to 65. So if they go that low again, I probably would not pass it up. And I would probably swing trade them all the way up to $100, I think is very realistic, or at least $95. Now, we don't talk too much about spec stocks, so I want to at least mention a few on this list here. The first one we have is Virgin Galactic Holding, down about 3.6% on Thursday, up about 6.7% in the last week and down about 10% in the last month. So you can see they're very inconsistent when they come to trading. They're up about 41% in the last three months, and they're up 130% in the last one year. So I think that this one is going to be a good swing trade, and it could possibly be a good long-term hold too, Virgin Galactic Holdings. Now, they are a spec stock. And they deal with rockets, which is a lot of money. So it's high risk, high reward. If one of the rockets blow up, obviously it can tank the stock and it can lose a lot of money and they can go bankrupt. But vice versa, if they send a rocket to Mars or whatever the case may be to the moon and they have a successful launch, then it can skyrocket too. So this is a good one. I put around, I think, 100 to $200 into them, just a very small amount for myself. And I think I'm going to hold them for at least a few months. I'll probably swing trade them, hoping to get around $30 a share or even new all-time highs for this company. Now, after that, we have a mortgage company that a lot of people are talking about, ticker symbol RKT. And right now, it looks like the IPO has stabilized. Remember, IPOs are very unstable in the beginning is why I don't buy them. You can see they typically shoot way up and then they come down and they bounce around for a few months. So I think this one could be a great swing trade right around $19 or $18 if you could get in that low and hold it for a little bit. I think it can go to $25 a share or even $23. This is just going to be a small swing trade or you can even hold it for long term because I heard this company is good for long term. They have a $2.4 billion market cap, so they're not a small company by any means. They have a P.E. ratio of 3, which is amazing. It means they're a really great deal right now. And who knows that this one can be, for if you hold this one for six months, a year, you know, we can see this one at $100 for all you know. So this is one that you're going to definitely want to do your own research on this list about and make your own decision, decisions on this one too. Now, I want to talk about another spec stock on this list here. It's going to be NKLA Nikola. 
and we all know them already. Obviously, they have a very bad rep, but they are a company that can fly up. As you can see, they have flown up a few times in the past year, so I wouldn't put it past them to gain about 20% or 30% in a couple days, if not just one week. Now, in the last week, they're down 15%. In the last month, they're down 52% which is why they're on this list. I like buying stocks at a low price, but you don't want to be risky with this one. This is one that you're only going to want to put like $50 in because it can go all the way down to $10. And with that being said, I would only buy Nikola if they get as low as around $11. So personally, I would probably only add positions or add shares if they get to $11 a share. So at $13, I wouldn't buy them. At twelve dollars, I wouldn't buy them. If they get to eleven dollars, then I'll probably be putting around fifty to a hundred dollars into Nikola for a swing trade. I would not hold them for long term, but I think they can at least two times my money if I get in at a like eleven dollars. Also, the first five people to comment below on um, their favorite stocks on this list and screenshot it to me and send it to me on DMs on Instagram, I'll give you $5 to the first five people as a giveaway. So $25 giveaway on this video. But the next stock's gonna be real, the real real. We've talked about this company a lot of times on this channel, even around $13, when it was as low as $13 a share, we were even saying to buy them even at that price. In the last one week, they're up 8%. In the last month, they're up 40%. And the last three months, they're up 28%. So you can see they were low as $13 at one point. And I'll probably be buying the stock again if they get as low as $16 a share. I probably wouldn't be buying at $20 um, just because I think that they can be getting as low as $16 or $17 a share again. And I probably wouldn't buy with that much money. You know, this is another stock you probably want to do your own research in as well. They are only have a $1.8 billion market cap, which is actually a fair size. But remember, they did gain 60% or 40% of that whole market cap in just the last past one month. So definitely be careful. But this is a rising company. It's a smaller company that you can still take advantage of, especially if they get back down to $16 a share. Um, they're kind of like a Poshmark that we've talked about or compared them to in the past or like stock x if you've ever heard of those companies before and after that we have the last one to talk about which we've talked about on this channel before switch it's the swch and if you can get in at this stock right around 15 dollars a share i think it's going to be a great call for a long-term hold this is also a smaller stock and it really hasn't done much in the last three months, up 5%, last one month up 4%, and last week up 3%. And only in the last year, it's up 10%. So it still has yet to make some crazy movements. Um, so this is definitely getting one that you'd be getting in before the blow up and before it takes off. I think this stock can be easily be a $20, $30, $40 stock in the next one to two years. And remember, you always wanna get in at a low point and then get in before all the news and all the hype happens and then ride the stock up too. You definitely want to be an early investor. You don't want to be a late investor. And as you can see, I only have $100 in this stock at an average cost of $15.50. And it also has a dividend yield of almost 1% uh, with a market cap of almost $2 billion. So this can be a huge company. This is one that I would also recommend doing your own research on and kind of seeing what the company's all about the business model, and if it fits your portfolio. So I hope you guys did like the video and I hope you did gain some information from it. In the last week, we're up a 13%, uh, 2,400. And in the last three months, we're up 42%, which is $5,800. So if you guys need help getting gains like this, remember, go ahead and DM me. I started the close friends list already. So if you wanna get to the top of the, that list, send me a DM and I'll explain to you how I look for stocks so I can actually teach you how to become as good as I am so you don't have to go through all the loops and all the years of experience and trial and error and failure and success. You can have a straight path to success this way. So go ahead and at least hit the thumbs up button for me. It does help me out because it lets the algorithm know that I should be recommended and that you guys should be watching the video and other people should be watching the video. I come on here every single day. I try to. I'm going to be posting more frequently at least five times a week. 
and let you guys know what I think of stocks, my mindset behind stocks. You guys' support has been overwhelming, so I absolutely enjoy all the thumbs up and comments and sharing with a friend. I have some people that say, hey, I shared your video with 13 of my friends. I put it in my family chat, so I really appreciate all that stuff going around and all the love and support too. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until the next time, remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.